Smells very cheesy. Oh, wow. Wow. Just doing a bit of crispy. Mom, daddy. Ah, daddy's home. Daddy. 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 Filming. We're filming. Welcome oh. home. Mwah. I'll have to change it. For dinner the other day, I made a roast turkey with all the trimmings and I thought, well, we're going to have some leftover turkey and we're going to use it today for this Kentucky hot brown sandwich. I know that you can use deli turkey or you can use thick slices, but for the recipe I'm following, they say about thick slices. I'm actually following the recipe for where this one originated in the hot brown hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. I'll put a link down in the description to the website, which has the recipe on it. So if you want to follow along, but I'm sure you'll all have your own version of this dish because as I looked online, there were hundreds of variations. So I've got four slices of, I'm just going to call it thick white bread because it might not be thick enough for you guys to be classed as Texas toast, but this is the thickest bread I could get without cutting it myself. So thickest sliced bread. Okay, we need the crusts removed. Oops, I screwed that piece up. So I'm going to get another piece in a second. I'm just going to do one at a time because I'm just messing up the bread. I haven't even got the right knife, have I? But never mind. <laughs> Guess there's a reason there are certain tools for the job. I mean, look at that. Don't worry, this will not go to waste. I will do something with this. Might actually have to get another two slices because I've already cocked up just slicing some bread, some crusts off of bread. There is no hope. So it does say that you need to cut one slice of your Texas toast or your bread into a triangle and leave the other in a square shape. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is it says to use an oven proof dish. So I'm gonna just use a good old oven dish. I'm gonna put both our sandwiches in the same one and hopefully it works okay. So I'm just gonna layer them like that a second. Alana's coming down, okay? So I'll just go get Alana a second and eat a bit of bread. Mommy, mommy. Alana. Mommy. Right, mommy's cooking. Mommy. You want a chair? Yeah. Okay, Alana wants to help. Mm -hmm. A what is it? A taste. A taste? Yeah. It's just bread. It's nothing to taste yet, baby. I'm just reading through this recipe and I'm not 100% confident with it. For somebody like me, it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. I'm not used to making open face sandwiches like this under the grill. And call me stupid, but yeah, there's a few bits that just seem to be missing. So I kind of wish I would have followed a different yeah. recipe. I'm already doing it. So if there are any problems with what I'm doing, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm sure if it's anything like the great sandwiches we've already tasted, we'll be having this again. So I will try a different recipe next time and hopefully, it will be a better version. Yeah. Well, at least somebody's happy with the bread anyway. You happy with the bread? Yeah. yeah. Alana has had her dinner, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So she's just having a piece of bread now because there's some going. Pizza. A pizza. You had pizza for lunch, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You have to eat bread. Like, happy with your bread. Happy with bread? Happy with bread. So I guess we're going to get that Mornay sauce ready now. Just doing a bit of crispy... Mom, daddy! Ah, daddy's home! Daddy! Mom, daddy! Mom, daddy! Mom, daddy! Mom, daddy! Mom, daddy! Mom, daddy! Love you. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'll have to change it. Oh, baby. Oh. 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 oh wow. What are we making? Oh, she's giving away all the spoilers. I'm gonna have to change the camera angle as well now because Mr. Okay. H is home and he's too tall. Go in. Yeah. Maybe I miss you. Oh, I miss you too, mm -hmm. darling. Wait. I miss Oh, I miss you too, baby. 
I know yeah. he's home now, isn't he? Daddy, are you happy? I'm happy. I'm home with you guys. Are you happy? Happy mummy daddy. Happy, happy mummy daddy. Mommy, daddy. Oh, so what are we making? Okay, so I just might as well start all again. <laughs> Oh, round rock donuts? Yes. Yeah. You know, we had the roast turkey the other day. <laughs> you know, we had roast turkey the other day, and I Mine, saved, saved some of that turkey yep. specifically for this dish, which is the Kentucky hot brown. Ooh. So it's an open face. Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Turkey sandwich <gasps> with a Daddy. kind of a cheese sauce on it. <gasps> really? And you do eat this one with a knife and fork. Okay. Whoa, that sounds good. So I just. How <laughs> I'm ten. I'm just crisping up some bacon. Daddy. Just crisping up some bacon and warming up Daddy. some of Daddy. warming up some of that turkey so that it's not like Dad. stone cold and Daddy. safely cooked, preheated, reheated. Oh, love you. I miss you today. I got about ten minutes before I'm actually going to get into the food. So if you want to go and get out of your work clothes, put some okay. coffees on, come back and join us, I'll pause the okay. filming. Cool. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay. Whoa, that's better. Right, what, what are we doing now then, my lover? Okay, well, we just might as well start again, really, on this one. So I've got the... Bread? I've got the bread, Texas toast style. It was quite thick for us. And I've got the turkey, which... Mm. I've heated it up because I'm a bit nervous, but we've got to layer it. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're ready. Sounds good. Okay, so turkey's in. Can I just say, it's lovely to be home. It's, it's lovely been, to have you home. It's been a long day. I was up at four. Having a, a welcome like that when you come home from work is like one of the best things in life. So yeah, good to be home. Lovely to see you too. Well, and you guys, lovely to see you guys. We're glad you're home. We've been having a cooking marathon today. I'm just popping on some half tomatoes like the recipe says. And I'm just going to pop this into the oven just to carry on heating. Onto the Mornay sauce. So I've got two ounces of butter, which is nearly actually melted, but I'm just going to pop that in there to melt further. The origin of this dish, then, Mr. H, mm -hmm. is back to the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. So back in the 1920s, they used to do dances. And after they did the dances, people would go and get something to eat. Mm -hmm. So the chef, I think his name was Fred Schmidt. Yes, Fred Schmidt. Schmidt. So German. Possibly of German influence, although this particular recipe doesn't scream German to me. Okay. However, well, I'm no expert, but however, he thought people are going to want something more than ham and eggs and stuff like that for dinner after they've gone to like a nice little dance. So he invented this, I'm going to call it a posh sandwich, this open faced turkey sandwich with oh. a lovely cheese sauce on it. Right. So that is the origins of it. It was called the Hot Brown because it was the Brown Hotel. Oh, wow. I'm looking forward to this. I kind of feel really bad because usually I'd like to have your dinner on the table when you get home. And tonight you've come home after a full day and you've been thrown into filming. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. But if there's any consolation, Alana and I have been baking since before lunch. Wow. We've been busy, haven't we, Alana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Busy. A busy, busy yeah. yeah. Okay, we have now got melted butter. Into the butter, we are going to whisk in two ounces of flour and we need to make a roux. I was just going to say to you, do you know what other dishes we like that start like this? Um, I want to say biscuits and gravy. Exactly. Hey. Who knows? Okay, now in with eight ounces of heavy cream, whisking. Ooh, lovely. Now I might need your help, actually. Mm -hmm. Eight ounces of milk in there as well. Okay, we just gotta whisk this for a couple of minutes till it thickens. This is thickened up quite nicely now, so I'm gonna take it off the heat. Okay, we've got half a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese. So I need to whisk that in. Oh, look at that cheesy goodness. Then just in with a little bit of salt and pepper. Someone did actually 
actually a comment that they've never seen pepper in little bags. A lot of our spices come in little bags over here because we get them in the kind of foreign food aisles, so like the Indian and Asian world food aisles, and they always come in packets. And we tend to buy them because we get through so much herbs and spices, especially pepper, because we do like pepper. We do add it to a lot of our cooking. But if we do go to Costco, I will look out for those massive big Kirkland pots that I see you all have on various videos. But the only controversial thing here is it does say a pinch of nutmeg, and I really don't want to add nutmeg to this, but for once I'm going to listen and uh, add a bit of nutmeg in. It just doesn't feel like a spice I'd want to add to this dish. But there we go, I've, I've done it, I've followed it. Now we've got to put some of that Mornay sauce over the sandwich. Okay, we need to sprinkle it with a bit of Parmesan or Parmesan cheese. I was gonna ask, do you say Parmesan or Parmesan? But I never know how we would pronounce that in the comments section. I think it's Parmesan, not Parmesan. Right, I'm popping this under the broiler, or as we would say, the grill, until the cheese bubbles and browns. I did look at some of the comments earlier, and somebody did say they've been watching us for a while and didn't realize that they weren't subscribed. They've only just subbed to the channel. So please, can you check that you're subscribed? It doesn't cost you a penny to subscribe. We do have like paid membership, and we do have Patreon if you want to support us there. But just to hit that subscribe button on YouTube does not cost you a single penny. So please do us a solid. It smells very cheesy. Oh, wow. Wow. This is where I'm slightly regretting my choice of ovenware. Well, let's see if I can get it on the plate. <laughs> this is like the ultimate cheese toasty, isn't it? I can't remember what video it was, but this is the damaged spatula. <laughs> You eat this with a knife and fork, yeah? This is a knife and fork job. So if you remember earlier, I said it needs to be a little bit fancy for after the dances at the hotel. Ah. So I think definitely a knife and fork job, not a kind of shove it in your mouth job. <laughs> We're not finished yet. Apparently we need a sprinkle of paprika. Oh, okay. Just give a bit of a... <laughs> kick. And I know neither of us are probably going to eat this, but... Bit of parsley. Oh, lovely. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? The first bite is with the eye. OK, I'm just going to point out that these bits here don't have any turkey. So for your first mouthful, you want to go in this central strip. Right. In my opinion. It might be hot. Yeah, I think it, it probably will be. will be hot. It will be hot. Oh, no! I forgot an ingredient. That's it. It's all ruined. Oh! Is it? Cool, that cheese looks good. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit too hot at the moment, darling. Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty good. <laughs> that took me a few chews. Mm. The, the initial chew was like, okay. Yeah. And it builds up, doesn't it? When that Monet sauce hits the turkey and it goes closer to the back of your throat, it's just like, whoa! Yeah. I have to say that earlier on, for me, it smelled a bit too cheesy, mm. but it's not. The cheese levels are good. Wow. Okay, this is a contender. I'm enjoying this. Mm. It all complements itself so well. I was actually thinking, I'm not sure how the turkey is going to go with the cheese, but it just... Good. A little bit. Mmm. Yeah. I think I got my bacon to American standard bacon. Usually our bacon's not this crispy, is it? No, I mean, it all tastes good. I did really try with the bacon. I've got to say thank you to all those subscribers that have been commenting and saying you should try this next, and they've recommended different dishes. And for all of you that said, try the Kentucky hot brown. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel? Mm. First split second, I've gone, oh, five. Now I've had quite a few bites out of it. That is definitely a good solid eight out of ten for me. Oh, okay. I was going to have an eight myself, and then I carried on chewing, and my taste buds were just excited. And I was like, I'm going to have to award this a good solid nine. Mm. You want more? Yeah. Alana's already had a dinner. She's already had a slice of bread while she was waiting, and she still wants more of this. So I think you like it as well, don't mm. you, Pop It? Alana gives us a more rating. 
If this video has left you hungry for more, to, more. then don't forget to subscribe, join our family. Hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. We would really appreciate it. It's free. We bloody love you. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see y'all in the next video.